As of July 2024, all new vehicles registered in Europe must come equipped with Intelligent Speed Assist, or ISA. A mandatory part of Intelligent Speed Assist is Speed Limit Information Function, or SLIF. SLIF uses cameras or map data to inform the driver of the current speed limit. To verify the vehicle's SLIF system meets EU regulations, engineers must log inconsistencies between the car's display and actual speed limits over a minimum of 300 kilometers on a variety of road types and lighting conditions. RaceLogic have developed a simple system using VBOX Touch and Video VBOX HD2 to evaluate the accuracy and reliability of ISA systems. The VBOX Touch is our primary input method and the video system is capturing all the data from outside and inside the car. The app works with a simple button box. As we pass this road sign, we check the dashboard to see if it matches the speed. If it doesn't match, we trigger NOK distance. At the point where the dashboard then matches the real road speed, we trigger again for OK distance. The second button on the button box is for events. If there's something that we need to look at in post-process, we can hit the event, we get a slightly different colour on the display, and then we can trigger off as well. As part of the regulation, there's an option to finish the test early if certain conditions are met. Typically, the regulations run to 400 kilometers, but we can stop early at 300 kilometers if our TPD variance varies by less than plus or minus 5%. We monitor this in the app, and when we meet our condition, we can see we can finish the test early. We can review the results of the test at any time, and this gives us the statistics for each of our road types throughout the test. Once we've finished the test, all of our data is synchronized by GNSS. We can use our VBOX test suite software to see how it went. So we can see here, we've got our synchronized data. We can go through sample by sample, past the signpost we can see in the video, and then we can watch our NOK update.